Hello Foodtubers, welcome to the River Cottage Foodtube channel. My name's Steve Lamb. I'm going to show you a top tip how to tie a butcher's knot. So a butcher's knot is a really useful way of keeping a joint tied and keeping its shape for cooking. Uh, it's also a really good way of keeping a cured piece of pork belly like this in a round so that it dries out and keeps its shape as it dries back. What you need is some butcher's string, okay? A little bit of close-up magic. You want to put a knot in the end of the string, like that, very simple. So, roll the joint or the piece of meat that you're going to tie. And with a knot at one end, you start in the middle. So the knot is 12 o'clock away from you. Take the knotted end and the tail end you take the knotted end round the back of the tail end and make a loop. Pass that knotted end through that loop. And if I pull, I get a second knot. So there's the original knot there, and there's the new knot. So now I drop the knotted end and I pick up the tail end. And by pulling and rocking, those two knots get closer together until they lock off. And I can keep going until I'm happy that it's fixed. Now that knot is pretty secure, but I like to make sure that it's not going to slip, particularly if I'm using it on a piece of dried cured bacon. So I make a loop and then I flip that loop over the top and by pulling I get a knot that locks off the original knot pair of scissors and snip that. So that's the knot. What you should do is look at this video time and time again. Watch it, rewind it, have a go, practice. It'll probably take you about 20 minutes to get it, but it's easy once it's there. So once you've got your middle knot in and you're perfect to tie the knot, do a knot either end. And then just infill the gaps, probably about a centimeter apart, simple. So that really useful knot is gonna keep this fantastic cured piece of pork belly in shape as it dries out and loses a little bit of moisture. But it's also a great way of dealing with uh, a joint of meat that you're gonna roast. If you like this tip, then give it a thumbs up. If you like what we're doing on the channel, then tell us. But most of all, subscribe because there's loads of brilliant recipes and tips coming your way.